Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're doing this little guy and I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but the coins will spin as the birthday boy blows it out. So it's a Super Mario Brother one. It's super, super cute. I love it. Um, so this is what it looks like on screen. Um, most of this is, I bought it on Etsy. So the SVG file is from Etsy, but the design of course is, is all us. Um, so the other thing is the number five. So the Super Mario is the actual logo that came with the Etsy um, design, but the number five, I just went to Defont, that's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com, and downloaded, I entered Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario, I can't remember, and um, actually, oh no, I don't know, here we go. I'll look it up here. Oh, Super Mario 256. So that will give you let's let's just type in that text so let's say you want a 10. um oh i didn't click it i'm like wait a minute there's super mario and that's what it looks like so it it matches the type of font okay so we'll keep that there i'll change the number to 10 so that we can do that here so you can see all right so let's say you also bought the file which i will give the information in the video um where to buy it it was a complicated file. So let's go to upload and I'll talk about it. Um, I know you can see all my upcoming projects. Okay, so here's the Super Mario file. We use this one. Uh, we did not use that. We did this one and bricks and coin. I think that was it. Let's insert it and see what we have. It was a very complicated file it did not work the way i wanted to but i'm going to show you how to get around it let's make it smaller i just grabbed all of these and made it really small or trying to make it small so you could see everything okay so first thing is this one is fine right except for if you look in the right hand side panel you can see what you're getting so this does not have a solid black background. So the easiest way is you click on it, go to contour and hit hide all. That's going to give you the solid background. And then you can just um, go ahead and ungroup this, move this all the way to the back, arrange and send to the back. So now you have a solid black background. So the letters go on top. It's just easier, sturdier. Everything is much better when that happens. The little dots, I don't know what they're for. So just delete them. This little cut, just delete it. Okay, so now we have Super Mario. Let's group it for now so that it, you know when we move it, we don't have to move each individual thing. Okay, let's look at this little flower guy. Same thing with the flower. It is not a solid black background. So just click on it, go to contour, hit hide all, and then now we have that. So let's go to ungroup for a second. Click on the black, arrange, send to the back. Oops, did I not hit it? There we go. Um, so I these are the little dots. I just got rid of that. Okay. Um, now with this one, let's see. The eyes, I didn't do the dots. You can keep the dots and see if they're not so small, you can keep it. So that's like a game time decision. So that's all good. I think the flower is done. So let's grab this, group it, move it to the side. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay, here's this guy. Same thing, right? So let's grab this one, contour. Hit hide all, so we have a solid black background, easier to deal with. Ungroup it, click on the black, click on the black over here, send it to the back. Okay, then you have a green that sits on top and the white. Um, okay, this is what I did. So for the white layer, I didn't separate it. I made it one whole thing. And the way I did that was I took the white, let's see, let's go to our black, our black background where I see. So click on the black, duplicate it. Okay, so move it to the side. So I clicked on the black, 
I clicked on the white, so let's get our white um, piece. Where is it? Is that our white piece? Okay. So here's our white, and I sliced it. And the reason is because then you have this solid black. I'm going to change this to white. It's just easier than dealing with these cut pieces and the little eyes, right? So now instead, that's what that's going to look like. So I created the same thing, but now this, this piece is just easier to manage because your white piece is just one big cut piece instead of five pieces right here, okay? Um, so we can just delete this. So now you have your black background, you have your white that goes in the back. Um, hold on, so this needs to be, did I do that right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about it. So the black has to show. So the black actually needs to be in the back, okay. So the black is actually in the back. So arrange, send to the back. Our white layer is going to be, no, our, our white can be in the, in the back back. Arrange, send to back, okay. Then our green sits on top, perfect. And then this guy sits right here. So this is much more manageable, right? And then these little things we can just delete. I don't even know where they came from. Okay, so grab all that, group it. So now that's all great. Okay, here are our coins. Our coin is fine. It's just two different colors. Um, it cut really well for me, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Oh, no, hold on. Our back. Click contour, hide all. There, so then it's one solid round piece and then the gold piece sits on top, okay? And then our bricks are good. All right, oh, I needed this yellow piece. Okay, so hold on, let me go to upload. Mm, view all, I'm missing that gold piece. It was this. I didn't use the question mark, so let's just click on this and type in like, four so it's much smaller okay so on this one i got rid of the white and the question mark and i made this one with the question mark so in the right hand side panel click on contour and i hit all oh but i like the little circles that was a cool detail so i kept that but i got rid of the question mark um what is going on oh my black so my black oh interesting so my black layer what's going on with my black layer here this okay so click on this on this go to contour and hide all so it gives me my solid black background and then i can get rid of all this stuff so delete that So you see, this is a lot of work. I, I felt like this designer made things a lot more complicated than it needed to be. I got rid of all of this. There's my, there's my square, okay? Um, okay, so let's start building this thing now that we have everything. Um, let's build our bricks and our, our gold pieces here. So let's just randomly say it's five. Okay, so this is, or four, I hit four, sorry. So this one, we're also gonna make four so that they match up, okay? And kind of make the, the black kiss each other because in the end, I'm going to weld all the black so we have a solid black background. So we want one solid background so that we can make the cake topper sturdy and everything else sits on top of it, okay? So let's grab those two things, duplicate. 
So that we have this, let me move the coin up, okay. We have this and we have one more yellow, right? So click on that, duplicate. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all of these. I'm gonna move it over a little bit and align, I'm going to align bottom. Okay, so they're all aligned right now. Then what I'm gonna do is, let's just move everything into place and then we'll start making some adjustments. So this was over here like this. This was over here, make it a little bit bigger. This was bigger. You need to make everything touch so that the cake topper is one piece, right? So um, I think we have everything in place now. I'm gonna delete this, okay? So I'm gonna delete all of this. And then that way we can, let me make this a little bit smaller so we can deal with it right now. Okay, so we have our coin over here. Let's move everything down a little bit. Okay, so let's move this up, make it really big. So I like to just make it first, like kind of make, it doesn't matter how, that this is 15 inches. There's no way our cake topper is gonna be 15 inches, right? That cake would have to be ginormous and then we would have to slice it. It doesn't matter. I just wanna make everything proportionate right now so that we can resize it later. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So this is, let's make this four inches high. Then I'm gonna make him also four inches high. Okay, so again, I want the black to kind of overlap and then this one, make it right there. Okay, so if I'm okay with this, let's look at our coins and our coins are gonna be in the middle. You want to give it enough room so that it can spin completely around. I did three coins, so let's duplicate that. There's our three coins in the middle. Let's do this 10. I think there's too much space in between, so we can easily go to letter space and decrease that so it's moving the zero over. If you can see that, we can manually move it over by ungrouping it too. And I did this in red. So let's change that to red and I put it, oops, let's send it to the front, arrange, send to the front. There's our 10 and we can, you know, ungroup it and we can move it over or you could do something like this. If you, if you want it the same, then you can move it like this. Okay. So that looks really good. Everything is in place. Now let's make that solid black background. So everything that's black, we're going to grab, okay? So you can do it from over here. We can grab, um, here's our first one. Hit the shift key, grab the next one, scroll down. Um, oh, and I forgot to make the bricks all black. So hold on, let's look at the bricks and contour and hide all, because we want a solid black and then the, the little bricks sit on top of it, okay? Um, and there was another brick here, this one. So I did that one. Where's my other one? This one, there we go. Click on that one, can you see it? Cause I know my, my picture's in the way. Let me move my picture over here. Okay, so now we're over here. Um, click contour, hide all. So we have a solid black, so that changes to a solid black. Now let's scroll up to the top, okay? Anything that's black, we're gonna grab it. So here's our first black. Hit the shift key, grab the second one, the third one. Now with the mushroom, you remember our back layer is actually our white layer. So, oh, and I forgot to do this. So click on the white layer and duplicate because the white layer, we wanna group it together. So I apologize. Let's go from the top again. So here's our first one. Hit shift, grab that one, that one, that one. Grab the white here. Grab the black flower, the name Super Mario, and then the brick, okay? And then we're going to weld it. That gives us a solid black background, okay? So first, 
let's arrange and send it to the back so you're not freaking out <laughs> it's still the same thing it's all nice right this white one because we welded the white because it was the solid piece right then um, we need this to actually be the white to give us that white back there um, now if you want to make three copies of this black one you want to grab that and duplicate and I'm going to put it just right here for now, okay, and duplicate. And the reason is because we haven't sized this thing yet. Okay, so I always do it for a cake topper. Grab everything. I always do it two inches less than what your cake is. So if your cake is a circle and it's 10 inches, then our cake topper should be 8 inches. If it's a square and it's 10 inches, I want it 8 inches. It doesn't matter what shape it is, whatever that length is, the diameter or the length do two inches less so i'm just going to say this is going to be eight inches okay so you want everything to be down to eight inches oops not the position sorry the width that's in the wrong box okay so everything now is eight inches i'm gonna make it big again we can move this to the side here's our piece again okay so we're all that's it then you want to catch the tutorial on how to piece this together. I did layer it. I didn't use glue dots. I used um, the thread to make sure that the coins spin. Speaking of the coins spinning, so when they spin, there's a front and a back, right? And we don't want that. We want a full coin on both sides. So grab all three of your coins and duplicate it because that's going to be the back side of your coins. And I think that is it. So let's go to the Make It screen so you can see what it looks like. Here's our white, our black. I think our black, how big is this? Six inches? I think we could probably make two of them fit on one. So let's move it to the side like that. So you see, so now you know you can do that. Click on this piece, the three dots, move object, and we're gonna move it to this page. And let's see if we can get this one on the same page. Oh, we can. Um, let me see. It looks like it's close. It might cut off a little bit. But you know what? We have two of these. It doesn't matter if it cuts off a little bit because they'll be our back layers. Our final layer will be perfect. <laughs> so this is going to be your top layer in case it duplicate in case it cuts off a little bit, which I couldn't tell. All right. Uh, I forgot to do this. Okay. So see how these two move together? Let's hit the back, um, let's cancel out of this. So the way this file came in is each color is already one image. So for instance, let's ungroup this. See, here's my yellow. If you wanna separate this, which I do recommend because then you can make it more efficient. We don't wanna use a three and a half by two and a half inch piece of cardstock to cut this out. There's all this empty space here, okay? So you could just slice it out by bringing in a shape. I usually bring in a square. Cover, make sure that your square covers the entire one piece that we're gonna remove, okay? Grab the two items, the yellow and the square, and slice. So now you can get rid of that. Now this R is by itself, okay? We can use the same square Get that U down there, grab these two and slice. Now your yellow is all separated. And this is good too if you have scrap, scrap paper because I use a lot of glitter um, cardstock. I have different shapes. So if you needed to cut it and needed it to look like this, well now you can do it because it's each one is a separate item. So same thing with the green. I'm going to do it right here. Now see how this is still in there? If I don't touch it, it doesn't matter. You can only slice two items at one time. I'm going to go from the bottom. Here's my green and I'm picking up the square and then I'm letting go. That tells Design Space those are the two items I want to slice out. Okay, so you can, you know, slice it easily this stuff we don't need right you can delete it and now our green is all separated so you're going to want to do the same thing with the red and the blue 
I am gonna show you how to do it if you're contouring, okay? So this is two pieces. I want it two separate pieces, so I'm gonna duplicate it. You need two copies. If you had three items and you want three separated items, you need three copies, okay? So however many you wanna match up that number. Now let's go to contour, and we're just, you can either select here or in the panel. So I deselected my eye, even though I felt like I clicked on the S, but that's okay. So here's my S. In this one, we want the S to be gone, right? So click contour and let's deselect the S. So all that's left is the I, okay? That's it. And then let's go to make it again. So now you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna skip over the black. So here's the red. Oh, I didn't separate that, but I did separate this. So now that can be better. Here's our orange, the bricks. There's nothing on this, so you could just, okay, there's my gold coins. Here's this. Now you know when you go to, to actually continue, and let's say there was nothing on, I, there's nothing that I can see on here. So all you need to do is you just need to select the next one and hit the C, okay? So you can skip around, or sometimes something doesn't cut well. You know, you're not gonna cut, you're not gonna cut you need to cut that one again you just click on it and then cut again so here's our yellow um it's on different yellows because it's different shades of yellow so that's going to be up to you how you want to do that i did have the gold coins be gold and then the yellow be yellow so here's the green now let's say you wanted these two greens to be the same color you can click on this the mushroom the three dots move object and if you move it to this one it's now going to become these two are going to cut on the same mat okay here's the dark green the blue because we didn't separate it so see this is oh we did separate it okay there we go and then the black hat but this can be with the other stuff so let's click on the three items move object and we want it with this one for instance so you can put it right here to be cut all right this was super fun and I love, they spin and it's just so cool. So catch that tutorial and make it and tag me and let me know because I want to see. Um, but post your comments. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know either here on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook. Um, and if you have a special request, let me know too as well. All right. Bye guys.